nervous to start because I don't want it to be cut off in the YouTube upload and let's be like in the middle of saying hi. Hey, welcome back to the Good Noise Podcast. My name's Shane and my name's Glory. Well, we're actually live now. So, hi, welcome back to the Good Noise Podcast. I'm Shane. I'm Glory. And um, we're very tired. <laughs> we had a very busy weekend. Glory, what we happened? did. Glory, what oh, yeah, happened this fast. weekend? Um, we had Good Noise Fest 2021, not, not 2020. Be, We're not out of that year. to be confused year. with 2022. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was our second Good Noise Fest because we had one at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, and it went really well. We had, what, 62 bands? 62 over the course, bands. Over the course of two days. Yeah. And it was 11 hours both days of music. So 22 hours worth of music for an entire weekend. Um, my, my internet got some work. <laughs> Yeah, your computer yeah. got some work. Yeah, we were, yeah. we test streamed on the first day, and I had it was turned hilarious. Off, I haven't t- yeah. I hadn't turned off my computer in like forty eight hours because I've been rendering shit like nonstop. Mm-hmm. And I went to go because we just like kind of sift through the set to make sure everything sounds good. Clearly, it didn't mm-hmm. work out day two. No. That slid right slid right under our radar. Mm-hmm. Um, make sure everything sounds good, looks good, ba ba ba, and then um, I went to go move a little bit and everything black screen all i saw yep. was i heard glory going mm-hmm. i can still see shit <laughs> and i'm i don't see anything um, and you were like dude my screen just went black i was like everything and you were like no, yeah it was everything. both monitors couldn't see shit and then it came back but it was like slow as hell and took me yeah. forever to stop the stream so we we eventually figured it out obviously mm-hmm. all it took was actually turning my computer off Crazy really co- crazy concept wow. uh, I, mm-hmm. I i turned it off and then we did the test stream and then i turned it off again just like to make sure that when i hit that go live button for the mm-hmm. real deal it wasn't gonna like explode in my face exactly yeah. yeah um so outside of that all the sets are on youtube not all of them 95 percent of the sets will say 10 two sets of, aren't on the stream no two because we sets, only uploaded 52 no two of the sets didn't make it really yeah because it's like, it was uh, the man dancing and glimmer sets we weren't allowed to post. Oh, um, it was 10 that weren't allowed on the comp. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's a comp album with a bunch of bands and shit. There's like Don't buy it. 55 <laughs> out of the 62 artists. And if you buy it, there's no guarantee. Bandcamp will the, take all the money. Yeah, there's there's a guarantee. There's, there's a chance Bandcamp will take all the money because we do our merch through there. So they say, fuck you and mm-hmm. save all of the fees they would take from the merch and yep. put it towards the digital sales. And since I don't we never, know why. And since we never get any digital sales because no one gives a shit, um, they just download it for free. Mm-hmm. Uh, anybody that puts any amount of money, it immediately goes to Bandcamp. But mm-hmm. it's all good. We're just a podcast that is that, also or just, Bandcamp. <laughs> if you want to donate to for the uh, for the girls, uh-huh. it's pronounced like like Gru. I yeah. think um, Hoity Toity said that perfectly. I was like, yes, I've been trying to explain it to people, um, but I haven't been able to do it perfectly. But Hoity Toity said it. Amazing. Watch their um, at the end. You can. The it's amazing. It's yeah. brilliant. They did amazing. Um, but if you want to donate to them, you can either use our link and we'll do it as one big group of money, or you can donate directly to them on their website. Just don't buy it on Bandcamp. Don't buy the album. <laughs> we should put like a disclaimer <laughs> <laughs> because literally somebody bought it for twenty one dollars. Thank you to whoever that was. But it Bandcamp literally took all of it. And it was it. I was mad because I was like, "What the heck, dude?" That's certainly like, not the first time that's happened. Sam bought yeah. the the uh, Good Noise Volume Two, mm-hmm. um, and it was only I think they spent like five dollars on it. And then mm-hmm. I pulled up the email and was like, "Oh, hey, look, none of that went to us. Not a single exactly. penny." <laughs> and then somebody else bought it for ten dollars. Yeah, we got none of that. Yeah. Somebody bought it for I think five dollars. We only got like three dollars of that. Yeah. So, so I think our debt is paid off, but still, I wouldn't take the chance. Just donate directly or use our link. Yeah. Don't help us pay off the debt unless you have yeah. disposable income. Um. That's all. Anyways, uh, I don't know. I haven't been terminally online this week, so we're just gonna go off the tours that I remember, and that is Limp Biscuit and fucking Spirit Box are going on a Jesus tour together. Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, last night after the stream was over, I hadn't listened mm-hmm. to Limp Biscuit in like 48 hours. I hadn't listened I'm to so them. happy. I for hadn't you. listened to them since Friday night. I was like, I was clean. And mm-hmm. I tried listening to them on Sunday in the car with Sam, and I put on Hot Dog no. off Mm-mm. the album, uh, Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavored Water. And wow. the opening line, which is the album title, 
yeah. was said by Fred Durst, and Sam made me turn it off. <laughs> Good job, Sam. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Boo. Um, so, yeah. Um, the Biscuit and Spirit Box are on a tour. I'm seeing them. They're my first. I'm not. Spirit. They're my first um, main sh- mainstream, not DIY band uh, mm-hmm. live since I saw Silverstein last March. Uh, wow. The DIY Super Bowl <laughs> added on a uh, guitar fight from Fooly Cooly. That was so cool. They upgraded their venue to Underground Arts in Philly. Tickets are still available. It's 18 bucks. See you there. I well, wish. You won't I see wish Glory I could... there, but Sam yeah. and I will be there. Come say hi if you can see, find us with our masks on. No, don't don't come say hi because Shane won't remember no. who you are, oh, and then he'll just look at you. Stop. Okay, I saw late <laughs> I saw late waves this past weekend during the mm-hmm. stream. Oops, my bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hung out with Bestie Mads and Bestie Abby and That's Bestie so cool. Matt, nice Matt and Abby done. from Dim. Um, I saw Chris Kunachuk. He's the the guy that shoots like every music video and mm-hmm. live session here in Jersey. I saw a guy from Idle Wave, but he doesn't know who I am, so I didn't say hi to him. Um, so it would have probably been like the interaction I had at the end I'm of the sure night. I'm sure he 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 knew who you were. Knew like of me, but we have never spoken, so I wasn't like gonna go up to him, you know, because we we only asked him like beyond the fest, and then we spoke to his manager for the rest of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we did that, and then at the end of the night, I'm walking out of the venue, and someone goes, "Oh, hey, Shane." I'm like, "Oh, fuck, I don't know who you are." Brent from Eight Graves, if you're watching this, I sincerely apologize for the interaction we had on what was it, Saturday night in Red Bank. I'm very, very sorry. I knew who they were once they said their name. Yeah. <laughs> but it was too late by then. I and they looked so familiar. I was like, I know who you are, but I suck with names. I have to like make a list of every single person you've spoken to and what band they're from. So mm-hmm. there's if there's a possibility I see them. And I have you to put actually... their face next. No, I should do this though. Put their face next to their name and mm-hmm. like memorize. No, oh, that might. If somebody finds it without context, that well, might be. It would a little... look very weird without it context. It looks sus. The context right now is I don't put. I fucking suck with names. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, man, dancing is going on tour. Glory's trying to go to the. I'm trying date. to go, but th- you need to make the tickets available. Man, dancing. If you're listening to this. I'm trying to buy tickets, but it just says Virginia isn't available right now. So please fix that. And Thank you. I haven't I haven't convinced my dad yet, but <laughs> once I do, I'm gonna buy those. <laughs> uh, and Parks added a second date, second Philly date mm-hmm. to their tour. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Now I'm seeing them twice. So if you happen to be in Philly and you're gonna go see Water Parks, come say hi. Sam and I mm-hmm. will be at both. Uh, mm-hmm. They bite. I don't. <laughs> Anyways, I think oh, that's all the toys. Jack Harlow oh. dropped a tour. I don't follow him. Yeah, who the fuck is But that? Jack Harlow, if you're listening, I am free February 14th. <laughs> who, um, who the fuck is that? It's the uh. Do you you don't listen to the radio? Do you listen to the radio? No. Okay. Well, he has like two hit songs like okay. right now in circulation. So yeah, I'm like, I think I've heard of the name, but I could never put like we just got over how I can't put names and faces together. Yeah. So um, I wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, uh, it's a late week. That's why we spent 11 minutes talking about random shit. That was 11 minutes. Well, we went live late, so it was only eight. Um, oh. But oh, Zari, Zari asks what you're eating. I was eating uh, crab sushi. We give no fucks around here. We just eat and fucking. <laughs> but now you see, Glory's allowed to eat. But when I threaten to eat before we start an interview, mm-hmm. like once we let the band in, but before we start the interview, she's like, "No, you can't do that. You have to eat your bar before we let them in." I've never said that. <laughs> You're making stuff up. I've never said that. No, I swear you have before. No, I haven't. I've just I've made fun of you for eating because you're always. Well, that's why I'm, like, I'm not. That's why always... I'm not allowed to eat before we like when there's a band in the call because I'm obnoxious as shit about it. Exactly, and and I mute my mic when I eat, so it's like that's why I make fun of you because you never mute your mic. But I've never told you don't. Well, eat now you see, before. Glory. If I mute my mic, there's like a fifty fifty chance that it'll just break. We know this. I if take I pre- that chance. If I nobody press wants that mute hear- button, <laughs> nobody wants to hear that. I'd rather hear my break than hear that in my ear five minutes before. Honestly, I would rather you hear me eating for five minutes than the possibility of my mic sounding like I'm um, all the way over there. 
Yeah. But you can still like it's crystal clear. That's crystal clear. yeah. That's how bad it gets. Yeah. But you, do we want crystal clear ASMR eating noises? Yes, because it doesn't no. fuck up my. Also, it could fuck up my mic. You never know. If I get too it close to it, mm -hmm. it might blow it out. Yep. I need a new mic. Um, yeah. Get this one. What is? What the fuck even is it? Um, I'll send it to you. I'll yeah. send you the link if you I want. I mean, I'm not gonna like buy a new mic anytime soon. I know, but, but you can look at the specs and yeah. be like, oh. I've been I've been meaning because this this thing everybody like rants and raves about it, and they're like, oh my god, best mic ever, best. Nobody mic talks about like, how. I'm like, yeah. it fucking no, it actually sucks and it gives me. Well, hard. it sounds good. It have sounds you just fine. have you messed with like the levels and everything? I'm sure there's a YouTube video where somebody I'm, has that same problem. I messed with the levels because it used to be so bad, like it would hover around like the the. F minus 50 to 45 range on my mm -hmm. obs so yeah. i mess with the, le the levels to get it to kind of just sit at like it doesn't move at all yeah um but it's a piece of shit i'll just plug it in and one time it'll be at like a half writing out yeah it'll be writing out without me even saying anything i'm like i don't I, 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 say anything. I, I, and if you don't say anything for too long it'll start writing out because it'll catch like tv in the yeah, background it's fucking weird yeah. i hate this piece of shit i need a mic uh <laughs> anyways the music that came out this week, Doja Cat dropped Woo! an album, Planet Her. I love you, Doja Cat. Um, this was so good. Yeah. I love Doja Cat. I was a little worried because I wasn't the biggest fan of the lead single, but this album held up. And I like that she ended the album with the, the SZA banger. song. The yeah, because it wasn't like she was trying to lure you in with that song. And then once you press play, you're like, oh, I guess I'm listening to the album now. It was just kind of like a little bonus at the end because I was like, I already know I'm going to like the song. You know, out of all the songs she could have used to lure you in with, it should have been the weekend song. Like if she was going to sell or the out Ariana like that. song. Yeah, yeah, honestly, she had massive features on this record. I didn't even like, know that Ariana was on it because I was so focused on the weekend. And then when I heard her doing her little whistle notes in my ear, I was like, what yeah, did you get here? She had like now, granted, she's not like some tiny ass artist, but no, she's she, massive. She get she got artists on her songs that never do features. Well, Ariana did a feature. With the weekend. Recently. No, well, yeah. <laughs> like okay, never mind. Years ago. <laughs> never mind. All right, I feel like Ariana does more features than The Weeknd. Yeah, but I feel like I'm, the weekend's I'm just talking harder like too. The Weeknd like, does his shit and then that's about and it. He doesn't dips. do interviews. He doesn't do. We're going to interview The Weeknd. We're going to be like, hello, we're gonna be We're going to be The Weeknd's third interview. Exactly. We're going to, he's going to be number one on The Good Noise, um, all time, whatever. Thing. Uh, when when I the billboard when I, thing yeah when I follow the uh, when I when I sift through the views on YouTube the Wiggles are still gonna be the top one and then it's gonna be mm -hmm. the weekend. and that's gonna be the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. can't believe we're podcast yeah. one hit wonders glory I can't believe it either <laughs> I can't believe it man anyways uh, this uh, album mm -hmm. I told Glory last night I was like this is a lot better than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. mostly because that single it was it last week i think we talked about it or two that weeks was last ago. week yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i was like this, tyler this... dropped the one single and then dip yeah i was like this this wasn't all that good um but i was pleasant pleasantly surprised by the record i still don't like that song very much but most of them weren't nearly as annoying as that song there was that one song that was very explicitly about sex though and oh house... yeah i think it's called like woman yeah and my house got very silent while i was listening to that song so I was wait, just... wait wait wait! did you have headphones in no i listened that's to my your music own fault with... well, i don't listen to music with headphones in. i got oh, it's called... i have nice speakers why the hell would i plug my headphones in it's called naked Oh, okay. Yeah. Makes yeah. Sense. I Checks mean, you should have expected it. Yeah, well, I wasn't, I was like working and trying to do this shit. Mm -hmm. um, but it started playing and I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I, yeah. uh, and then my house <laughs> got very silent. My music wasn't all that loud, but I'm like, I know everybody can hear it now. Yeah. Um, so that was, that was my experience listening to the Doge Cat album. <laughs> that song has the same effect as Porn Star by Mod Son. No. <laughs> No, no but like, I'm not even going to joke no, about that. No, no, like when you're when you're listening to it, it's not as bad as that song was. But when mm -hmm. you're listening to it, it's got that same effect without headphones in, obviously. See, I don't know why you're listening to music that you don't know without headphones. I always listen to all all my albums. I listen to them with headphones for the first time, just in case. Because I don't like care enough. My parents don't really care what I'm listening to. Mm -hmm. It was just like that was so explicitly about <laughs> sex. Like, and they there were going to no, start caring. There was no, like someone was going to come be you like, listening to? what the fuck are you listening to, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Toby the Creator dropped a banger new record, Call Me If You Get Lost. Oh my god. I waited 
to listen to this, I think Friday morning, afternoon, maybe, because I want to listen to it for the first time with my dad, because he's a big Tyler fan as well. You're welcome. Um, and he liked it. I wasn't the biggest fan the first listen. Like I really I liked it, but it wasn't what I expected at all. I expected the entire record to sound like um that single. Um Lumberjack. Yeah. And you know, just kind of like loud, grimy music, but it was just kind of like Flower Boy and Wolf had a baby and it was good. <laughs> So some people said Cherry Bomb and Flower Boy. I could hear that, too. But, you know, it wasn't what I expected. But I've listened to it like 10 times all the way through since it dropped. So I'm going to. Yeah, I yeah. really. Uh, Juggernaut did not have to go that hard. I did not know that Pharrell could rap. I, I haven't. Li- I've only listened to Happy. Um, his one, the, the one song I know is Happy. Yeah. So that's what he sings in that. I didn't know he could rap. Uzi popped off on that. I didn't expect Uzi. I didn't. I. I didn't know that Pharrell rapped either because I've only heard him on that uh, on Daft the, Punk song the, the and Punk song. that funny album that he did with the Happy song on it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I had no idea he could rap, and it was uh, good. Yeah, this this album took me by surprise. I saw that nine minute track and I was like, oh my oh, fucking god! Especially so like right in the middle of the album. But I was also working while listening to this one because I had fest shit to do. Mm-hmm. But like. It didn't even feel like a nine minute song. No. Which was great. I was like, at least it's not tedious. But honestly, this album was like very fucking good. And I told Gloria that last night. Mm-hmm. Um, shit kind of be banging. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. He always has one track in the middle of the record that's like seven to nine minutes. It's always mm-hmm. a double track. Um, so yeah, I'm happy he's still doing that. Real good shit. Job, Tyler, you're doing great. Gold Flame. Drop tour. <laughs> Goldflame dropped an album. The Burnout Generation continued. Um, when I saw that they had announced that this was coming out, I thought it was just going to be that second EP. But mm-hmm. then I went on Spotify last night and it saw was that a it was full a full album. album. Yeah, and I was like, "Wow, what happened to doing EPs?" <laughs> so because last time we spoke to them, it was they were dropping another EP. Yeah. So when we talked to Jackson and possibly the rest of the band on what Wednesday, that's going to be the first question. Not how do you feel about the response to it. It's what the why? Fu- why'd you change your plan from what you told us? What happened to the yeah. original plot of the movie? <laughs> so, uh, but I, I, they fucking, it's so good, man. Yeah, they bang either way. Yeah, so. they, like it, it doesn't like the reimagined versions. Sometimes mm-hmm. I think reimagined versions get a little, um, like a little kind, of almost, sappy. kind of almost annoying in a sense because they're just like so overdone. Mm -hmm. trying to like you know change up the song but they did a very good job of picking the right people to kind of reimagine the song with Mm -hmm. that it it came out very good i like this this thing as a whole so true and also putting lilac queen features and Mm -hmm. blue deputy features on the same album is powerful as shit so power almost as powerful as us having them go back Back to to back back on the festival yeah i just i just think that either a blue deputy feature on the lilac queen album EP, whatever there might or do split. or a split or a lilac queen feature on the blue deputy album mm-hmm. would make diy explode that's yep. all yep i agree i like the demos on this record i didn't get through all the demos i went to bed la- i went to bed last night after late bloomer and then didn't finish it wow they were demo- demos aren't really my cup of tea to begin with See, they're my cup of tea, and I don't. I feel like it's strong to say, but they were one of my favorite parts off the record because it just shows, like, not like a completely different side of the song, since you could still kind of, you know, see the connection from mm-hmm. the release song to the demo. But either way, I really liked the demos, and I I need more people to release their good demos. Don't release like your your oh, first take demo. <laughs> Don't, um, where, don't release you know, that. Don't release demos like the Living with Ghosts album from My Chem. Okay. What the those demos sound like shit. They whoa, whoa, whoa. Living with Ghosts is that the one with with Emily? Yes. That's, oh yeah, you that's can keep the that. Black Parade ten year. That's the second mm-hmm. album on it. Wait, wait, because I'm getting that confused with um. Was Kill All Your Friends a demo? No, it wasn't. Or was that a there, B-side? That was a B-side. There's dem- There's a Kill All Your Friends demo, I think, on that demo's album. Mm-hmm. But Kill All Your Friends isn't inherently a demo. There's a polished version of it. And was the... What, is it the four of us or the five of us are dying? 
that's a rough mix, but that bangs. Okay, because that bangs. Yeah, that bangs. Because yeah. it's like a rough mix, say. not a demo. That that exactly. shit bangs. Yeah, it's yeah. just in the early stages. Like yeah. it's final cuts for everything, except they're just still mixing it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, then keep keep that to yourself because yeah, nobody might, wanted I, Emily. I might have nobody bought that, that. I might have bought that triple LP because mm-hmm. my brain wouldn't stop thinking about it until I bought it. But yeah. I fucking hate the the demos. You so don't much. listen to it no, I'm not because gonna, the demos suck. I'm not going to spin the demos uh, vinyl. I'm going to spin the regular album. Yeah. You. Oh. <laughs> uh, free throw dropped a new album. Piecing it t- pe- piecing it together. This is good. I like this. This is fucking banging too. Um, I listened to this in like, I listened to half of it before I went to bed one night and then finished mm-hmm. it in the morning. Mm-hmm. So I didn't get the full experience of listening mm-hmm. through it, but it shit kind of be banging. Um, kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very, very good. I don't have much to say. <laughs> it was, a, it was a solid album. Yes. I think I would revisit it again. I just have to put it in one of my playlists. So then I'm kind of not forced to listen to it again, but it's just easier for me to find I it. Actually instead go of- back to it exactly yeah. yeah so yeah i'll i'll find a place for it in one of my playlists i bro when i made that um good noise fest playlist uh-huh. i was so worried that people were gonna find like my other playlist because all my playlists are public yeah so i was like who's gonna follow like my road trip vibes playlist or the podcast playlist and start adding and deleting stuff but i think it's a private playlist somehow um, either way nobody yeah. followed anything so okay that's good yes. that's good yeah. yeah imagine people just started adding like random shit to the podcast <laughs> playlist and we come back to put something on it and there's like a thousand hours of like minecraft gex. music or okay i'd be gex. okay with that yeah i wouldn't be okay. <laughs> um i don't like minecraft we've had this conversation no, I've but had the this music com- is a completely different thing i haven't listened to the minecraft music you should no <laughs> Wow, okay. Beartooth dropped an album below. This shit kind of be banging, I'm not going to lie. I listened to this when I was biking, and I felt like I could literally, like... By God. End somebody. Yeah. Just right then and there. Um, But yeah, it's not my cup of tea, but it made me feel really powerful when I was biking, so... It's not like I was drooling over the fact that Beartooth was putting out an album. I was excited and everything, because I, I had listened to their... Uh, their most recent record before this one uh, a whole bunch like in one clip like a month mm-hmm. i spent listening to pretty much just that record um but i, I never really dove into their discography mm-hmm. and i thought that some of these singles fell flat but honestly as radio rock as some of those songs works i feel like that's what every metal core band is trying to do in 2021 is hit the radio because they couldn't yeah. pour last year so they i mean it makes sense make the money some some way else mm-hmm. um this honestly wasn't all that bad. They still kind of mm-hmm. kept the integrity of the band, mm-hmm. the the whole metalcore sound. They didn't even, sell out completely. Even on the hard rock tracks where you could tell they were just shooting for that octane. Uh, hey, get it, man. <laughs> so honestly, go get go get your Go, go get, get your rock bag. single. Go yeah. get your what is it? Um Sirius XM the, Alt the octane, Nation. Yeah, the octane. Yeah. Um which uh, is just yeah. Butt rock and generic metalcore, <laughs> and a Pierce the Veil song somewhere in there. Yeah, and, and the occasional good song makes it on there too, but it's typically yeah. just like, and ever uh, Evervescence. Ev- yeah, but wake, they always have that wake uh, me up inside yeah, song. Of course, playing. why not? There's it's always there's a cover of it on the uh, From Ashes to New EP. <laughs> I was yeah. like, can't fucking escape this song. Literally, <laughs> and, I was just I was just chilling, and then it started. I heard the first like key or whatever, uh-huh. and I was like, no, and no. I, could not get through that album like that album that that song is off of mm-hmm. i could not get through it but that song can't, i can't fucking escape it it's everywhere it's everywhere and it oh and then out- also high hopes is probably playing on that station of course, as well. it's playing on every single station ever every but single station that you can't fucking escape that song and it's been out for like literally 20 years 20 now. years yeah it's, it's as old as i am and this shit like is fucking older big. than you probably yeah. i think the album came out in 2002 so it's got to be as old as i am yeah. And I'm like, holy shit, you can't Jeez fuck it. I'm gonna Christ, Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. Stab. Stab, Anyways. stab, 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 stab. Are you stabbing the song? <laughs> I'm stabbing the song and that stupid album cover. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eve Six dropped a new EP, Grim Value. This is not what I expected Eve Six to sound like uh, at yeah, all. No. <laughs> I thought they were gonna sound like Beartooth for some reason, because Eve Six is just like a metal name to me. So well, I was just like Ooh, I'm gonna go to an Eve Six concert and go into a mosh pit and do the, it's also the, the way they the uh, death wall or they whatever. present themselves on Twitter. 
Like you would expect their sound to be heavier. I don't know. I had never listened to U6 before this EP. (laughs) I thought this was all right. Um, I mean, not my favorite. Yeah, it it, it just wasn't what I expected. Yeah, no, I was expecting just kind of like head banging and whatever. Like it was, it was fine. It's just not like I feel like my my first impression just kind of muddled the entire EP for me because the entire time I was thinking, am I listening to the right thing? Because I've just had this this picture of what they would um uh, this this idea of what they would sound like you, you didn't take time out of your day to listen to the heart in a blender song <laughs> you must you must not be on the timeline enough <laughs> no I'm, i don't think i am <laughs> that's good um from ashes to new put out an ep quarantine chronicles volume one i think this is what um they were hinting at when we interviewed them at the beginning of this year lance yeah. um because we had a couple of new songs on here had one of the songs off the album Mm -hmm. with a feature on it and then a couple of covers and that fucking evidence cover there was a lincoln park cover on there right i I think there was because i just i heard it sounded too much like lincoln park um well they are very lincoln park inspired yep, i remember so. that was that was one of the things that lance was telling us like you're either not lincoln park enough or you're ripping off lincoln park there's no in between yeah yeah but it sounded like lincoln park i wasn't like mad at it i was just like is this lincoln park i don't so think it, i don't think it was i just think they sounded a little too much like lincoln park but yeah I, I did enjoy the CP. The, the the album as a whole that like these songs came from and were inspired by and everything grew on me from the last mm-hmm. couple of times we chatted about it. I uh, listened to it again at the beginning of this year when we interviewed the band and I didn't uh, hate it. It was good. Yeah, that was but, Panic, right? Yeah. It, yeah made, it made the driving playlist got looped for like a week after we interviewed them kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, how, that's how you know it was really good. Yeah, but it was kind of mm-hmm. awkward being like, oh, when this album came out in August, we, we said I we didn't, didn't like I, it. Fuck it. And then when we talked about it again at the end of the year, we also said we didn't like it. But here we are. Because we, we hadn't... We're re- saying we liked it, no. We hadn't re-listened to it. We were just going off of what we uh-huh. said in August. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was like Which very awkward. We probably shouldn't do. We, that's why we're not doing that like, anymore. <laughs> well, you it's know. It's okay. We're professionals. We're very we're good doing, we're doing We're doing good. Um, Jaden. Uh, dropped a new single by i thought this banged again this was not what i expected but i really liked it this had like a lo-fi kind of feeling to it i was like yeah what what the fuck why am i listening to lo-fi mix number 62 on youtube stop it but it honestly wasn't that bad no uh jason smith doesn't disappoint i love Mm. them speaking of uh lo-fi mixes uh pure noise put out lo-fi mixes of a bunch of their band songs and they came out this past Friday. That's and cool. And I was like, do I put them all on the playlist? But I listened to the Belmont one. It was just boring. So Aww. I was like, well, I mean, it wasn't like boring, but like listening to a lo-fi mix when you're just kind of like brushing your teeth isn't yeah. when you're supposed to listen to a lo-fi mix, you know? No. Um, yeah. I wasn't trying to vibe out while I was brushing my teeth. I was exactly. trying to go the fuck to bed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, this was good. Good job, Jaden. And yeah. then we have we have a sister. Uh, Willow put out a single lipstick banger. I think I prefer um, Transparent Soul, mm-hmm. but I like where she's going with this record. I'm very excited to see what she's going to do. I don't think she's announced it yet, oh. but we know there's a record. We, we know, know it's coming because you're just you're not going to drop like two songs and then be like, OK, that's it. Bye. Yeah, you're going to drop a record. So give yeah. us the pop punk album and let me see you on tour. Need. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, no, I agree with Glory. Transparent Soul was better. Uh, I think this song didn't explicitly say it had Travis Barker on it, so I don't think it did because that no, last song on Spotify said it had Travis Barker, and I think mm-hmm. that's part of what made the song feel like in Travis Barker. Um, but <laughs> other than that, I thought the song was good. Just Transparent Soul was better, in my opinion. It had like more of that pop punk feel. This one was it did. this one was a little bit more like, but it wasn't like violently pop punk where it was like you know like pizza and whatever. It was just, it had that kind of like edge to it. But it was still kind of dreamy and floaty. Yeah, it had you know? the, it had the pop punk riffs without the mm-hmm. typical pop punk lyrics. Topics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is it's refreshing. Yeah, it's nice. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to put um, that's all. Unlikely got. candidates dropped a new single, Gemini. I Banger. liked this. Yeah, this good, good job, unlikely candidates. It's good. Um, I I like where they're kind of heading with 
I mean, they haven't put out music in almost a year, but we know when we interviewed Kyle forever ago, they said they had a record. It was supposed to come out at the beginning of this year is what he told us. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to assume they're waiting to hit the road before they put it out. Yeah. But um, the song was very good, and I kind of like the direction they're heading in because they had those more, like, I guess you'd call them heavier, like, pop songs, and now they... The, the past couple singles high low and this one are like those oh, well. those dreamy so kind of pop things that mm-hmm. are definitely going for the radio because the, the the press release we got said like their next radio single i'm like oh this is yeah, radio through going, and through they're going for radio but, in the, yeah. but in like the best way possible yeah they aren't selling out they're just kind of tweaking it a little bit to just or they're just aiming for the radio which so. is that's fine that's just respectable yeah go for it uh oh it's you millington put out a cover of the beach boys fun 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 i didn't know this was a cover yeah it was i double checked before i changed it on the thing it was a cover it banged though it did bang yeah. i'm not a fan of the beach boys but this bag yeah it was it, bang. it, it oh, banging. Yeah, nose. Oh. yeah i mean yeah. <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure i've like heard fun 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 in passing but it's not like fun 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 I, I sat down and listened to the Beach Boys once and heard Fun Fun Fun, you know. Let me see. Um But no, this this cover bangs. Uh Millington bangs. Go watch their Good Noise set, Fest twenty twenty one set on YouTube. Go watch our interview with Cody about like everything that they had put out in twenty twenty because we had no objective for the interview. We were just like, let's chat about everything. Mm-hmm. Um The and Beach Boys drops just dropped a new single. And- Sorry to interrupt you, but Aren't they all dead? Somebody's <laughs> dropping singles for them. I don't know who, but they just dropped a new single called Big Sur. So. Nice. That's it. Sorry. Continue. Yeah. The subject for the interview was just, it was very fluid. We were yeah. just talking about whatever. So go watch all of that and then listen to their cover of Fun, Fun, Fun. Fun, Fun, Fun by the it Beach Boys. Fucking bangs. It does. It does. Uh, Maybe Parade, your least favorite favorite band, drops should... a new single, Kids of Summer. We should stop saying that because we want to have them on the we podcast do want to have really them on the bad. Podcast. Yeah. But, like, we should stop saying that. Well, like, it's true. It's not saying they're bad. It's just like if you had to rank all your favorite bands, they would be on the bottom of the list. On the list <laughs> which isn't bad. You still made it to the big list. Obviously. Uh, this yeah. song fucking bangs. It did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think. I think my theory with May Day Parade was they started the album cycle with that single they put out at the beginning of last year, stopped mm-hmm. it because of the Panini, Panini, put out the three song EP, and now they're finally kicking it back up with the Kids of Summer, and we're finally going to get a full length from them this year. God bless. I think that's what's going to happen, um, which is very exciting because as mm-hmm. much as I think May Day Parade does the same thing on every single album, I will listen to the entire album. And Give us Jamie probably, all over part two. And they probably will. And then I'll probably cry to it because that's what Mayday Parade is. There's just pop punk you can cry to pretty much. I, I can't believe you don't like terrible things. I don't like slow songs. We've had, But it's just, it's so good. No, oh, but it's really not. <laughs> it is. I haven't seen the music video, but I bet it's powerful too. Like. But it's the, the problem with their slow songs in particular is that they go, they, they, they take down the tempo so much. And then make the song so fucking long. Bring it back up, yeah. It's like, and then the tempo doesn't change at all. So it's like this five minute song that's like 60 beats a minute. And I'm like, it's just a loop of the piano. I'm in the like, background. I'm gonna go the fuck to bed. I'll come back like in 10 minutes when the song is finally over. That's the thing, is not necessarily that the songs are bad. They're just so painful to get through because they're so slow. It ruins the flow, man. I'm all about the flow, and it ruins the flow. Mm hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. 303 and Bert from the U's dropped Duh, a Da U's dropped a single Vampire's Diet. And out of all of the features 303 was going to have in what I, Bert <laughs> was not on that list. <laughs> I had to reread it a couple of times. So I was like, you mean Bert McCracken from the U's? Yes, yes, the the, the U's. It wasn't bad, but it was. I was a little confused. I was. I mean, it, it, it fucking bangs. It did. I was just like, I, I couldn't focus on the song because I was like, <laughs> did they misspell something? Did, did they, they add the, did wrong, they add the wrong feature? Exactly, yeah. I've just, I don't, I don't know what happened, but I'm not like mad about it. I'm just like a little, I'm a little hesitant. No, oh, it, it bangs though. That's the problem. It's like, it has no right fucking this hard. No, but it's just like, 
Mm. We haven't interviewed 303 yet, but we interviewed Joey from the U's. Go watch yeah, it. It was go watch it. Cool. It was pleasant. I really uh, liked that one. It was cool. Uh, Eva Under Fire or Eva Eva Under Fire dropped a new single, "Blow," featuring Ice Nine Kills. Well, Spencer um, Spencer from Ice Nine Kills. Spencer, stop doing features. Put out the fucking full length. The new yep. Ice Nine Kills album. Um, mm-hmm. this song was good though. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, we're getting to that spot. In the podcast. We are we're getting like, that good. that spot in the amount of singles we have to talk about. Where yeah, it's just, we have a full that page was good. Um, the score dropped the single victorious. It's um, good. I, I liked it. I shit on the album for sounding like radio shit. Uh, the bands that do that kind of like just going as mainstream as possible, you know, and mm-hmm. trying to get as many radio plays. I think that they are better off doing just the single route like if you want to drop a bunch of singles and then package it up in an, into an album to like for the spotify algorithm because we know how that shit works that's mm-hmm. fine but i don't think that those bands should survive solely off of like albums putting out a couple singles and then doing a record because in my opinion those albums are very boring to listen to mm-hmm. that's just my hot take though this song by itself was fine and kind of fucks uh, mm-hmm. but like in an album i'd probably uh, have different things to say <laughs> yeah uh lotus eater and ollie sykes dropped a new single obliterate i can't this believe is, that this is... band is signed to hopeless <laughs> that's like that's what do you mean that's by my that? review because hopeless is like they are just such a pop punk label it's not even funny yeah and now they've mm-hmm. been signing like rappers Metal and, and rappers this and indie and i'm like okay now yeah. they're just all over the place they're they just were, doing everything now. Yeah, they were very much like the home for any decent sized pop punk band within the scene yep. for like a very good amount of time. And now they're just like, fuck it, we're just gonna sign everybody. Fuck Maybe it. they see something that we don't. Maybe like rap is the next mainstream. Which I'd be okay. I mean, there is a mainstream rap, but just like maybe it's the next thing. Yeah, but like and the same same thing, it, we're experiencing a pop punk revival right now on two yeah. different sides. The POC people are leading leading the the charge As with we like should. creative mm-hmm. pop punk, and then we've also got the white boys bringing back the old shitty pop punk, and like so there's, nobody wanted. there's two going at the same time, and it's like so like I don't I don't know what they're doing, and there's there's never be, there was never a metal revival ever, there was never yeah, a metal scene. nobody wanted it so back. I don't know what the fuck they're signing Lotus Eater for, but I'm not complaining yeah. because the song fucking bangs. That's where I was going with all this. I promise. Okay. It sounded um, like you you didn't like them. No, you were like, why no. are they signing this person? I just I was just shocked because of the history that this label has of signing yeah. acts that aren't metal. I think the closest thing they've gotten is like, well, they've got Afterlife signed, which is like that post hardcore metalcore vibe. They had mm-hmm. signed Silverstein for a little bit, but typically they border on that pop punk, and that's kind of what they're known for. So I don't know mm-hmm. if they're trying to change that or if they just need albums to put out because most of their artists are in like a lull point limbo like, yeah because they yeah. do the two-year album cycle i don't know it's also Maybe crazy mixing that, it up yeah it's also crazy that they got an ollie, ollie sykes feature um especially since like two weeks ago we talked about him doing a pop feature and now he's back to doing like what is he doing i i think he's just bored but honestly i think that instead of doing features same thing as spencer just over here album. uh just start finish up eps two through four of the post human uh, little thing so that i can stop thinking about it every night before i go to bed um mm-hmm. there has been a leak supposedly that the next one will come out allegedly in, allegedly the next one will come out in october Octo- uh, august october it? No, october, it was october that fits better october yeah. 14th mm-hmm. uh wow you have that memorized yes, and we'll have a sam carter from architects feature on it and I will, you're spilling everything i really like- <laughs> kiss my pants if, allegedly well, i did say at the beginning of this that it was a leak so if you didn't want to hear the rest of it you could just skip um, what if they didn't have time to skip it uh oh well if they're watching live i'm sorry anyways yeah. um sam carter from architects is supposed to be on one of the songs and i will piss my pants if that's actually true um because sam carter and ollie sykes on a song together uh i could i could use that'd that. be good and young blood's a secret feature young blood was nowhere to be found on the alleged track list yeah, thank god nowhere. uh zari said that willow's album comes out next month i uh, don't follow what she does so i have no idea 
I'm. I mean, Zari just said that, yeah. so I'm gonna take that. Yeah, yeah cool. We'll go with it. I'm excited to hear that. Uh, against. Uh, it's, it's, oh, it's you. Yeah, against the current and Guardian put out a single again and again, and this and announced uh, against the current's EP. I think it comes out at the end of July, maybe the beginning of August. Who mm-hmm. fucking knows? I don't know. It comes out at some point. This song it will be out. This this song fucking bangs. This is the best song they've put out from this little EP cycle. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. I don't know what to add. It was, it was good. So good. I didn't yeah. Good job. <laughs> Make them suffer in uh Courtney LaPlante. LaPlante. I'm not sure. Dropped a new single, Contraband. I thought this was good. Courtney from Spirit Box, my beloved. Oh, um, I didn't know that. Yes. Uh, so I, I like, I've heard of Make Them Suffer, but like never listened to them. I saw the Courtney feature. I was like, okay, I got to listen to this. Um, mm-hmm. Song gave me fucking goosebumps because it was so heavy. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then that Courtney feature, because she's such a versatile vocalist. Mm-hmm. Like, that's part of the reason, like, obviously Spirit Box fucking banks has great music, but that's part of the reason why they're blowing up is because of how versatile her voice is. Mm-hmm. And it shows so well in the song. She screams, she sings. It's like, but her clean vocals are so good. It's not like yeah. the typical metal clean vocals where it's like, just go back to screaming. You yeah, really just go can't back to sing. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think that as Spirit Box continues to grow, they're going, oh, my bad. Uh, they're <laughs> going, Courtney is going to become one of those features that every single person, at least metal artists, and she could even do like pretty much anything because her clean vocals are so good. Uh, mm-hmm. that every single metal band is going to want to have on their song. Um, yeah. So I think a, a Courtney feature right now is massive. I mean, in any capacity, it's massive. Like whether you mm-hmm. get it now or when Spirit Box is literally taking over the world. Yeah. Uh, can you Wait tell me Spirit that. Box, Stan? Yeah. Wait <laughs> for that Ollie Sykes and Courtney feature. I will be good. piss my pants. That'd be powerful. <laughs> that would be, That'd powerful be really powerful. Too. Uh, I met a Yeti and Pulses Woo! dropped a new single. Oh, fuck. Opulence. Opulence. There we go. I knew that. Um, this was very good. This shit bangs. I uh, love pulses so much. Pulses, my beloved. Yeah. I love pulses. Go pulses. pulses. And I'm a Pulses stand number one. Banging so hard. Mm-hmm. Smacks. Stream it. Stream it. Go listen yep. to it. So good. Mm-hmm, we don't mm-hmm. have much to say, but because it's a single. <laughs> if you can't single. tell, <laughs> but go listen to it because it's very good. Don't mm-hmm. take our word for it. Go listen to it yourself. Yep. Because our word is like two words. <laughs> We're just here to tell you what came out and then you get our opinion as a bonus. Yes. Um, Between the Buried and Me dropped a new single, Fix the Error. Um, I'd seen a lot of people excited for the, the album they announced with this. I thought this song was all right. Yeah. Like it it's was nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a little long and the mix is a little muddy. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, I just thought it was all right. Yeah, it's nothing where it's like, ooh, I can't wait for this album. This album's going to be amazing. To it. Exactly. But, you know, like, I'm still going to listen to the album when it comes out. Yeah. Maybe they just picked, like, not the right song for me, I guess. <laughs> you know? The <laughs> um, baby, let's go! Let's go! Dropped red light, green light. Oh. Wait, before you start, I just want to say, I am so happy we're covering the The Baby album drop. I am so so happy that this is just that you just add you added this this time <laughs> this is what you added i am so because, so happy because the this baby, was good the i baby, like the baby now the baby memes died way too quickly so we have to single-handedly revive them because yep. they are still the funniest shit they the are funniest shit yeah um but yeah man like oh, this has no right going as hard as it does like honestly <laughs> it's the baby man i baby, i hate go! i hate i personally cannot stand the baby as a human being because i just i just don't like him but the da baby memes oh, amazing the baby if you want to come on the podcast i will literally take everything i just said back because let's like, go! you're the baby we can but, spend 30 um, minutes just screaming let's go back and forth at each other and that can be the entire you, interview that would be it and we'll just <laughs> we'll just photoshop in the car on the side <laughs> <laughs> honestly it would kind of be like the interview we just finished up like an hour ago that's kind or it'll of what be it felt like. like the interview that we did with austin knight of water Parks. oh yeah that one that was crazy cool that was interview. a good one you watch that one if you haven't watched that it's on our twitter um black sound dropped a new single exit motive um 
I threw this song on here because the source I grabbed the the new releases from said that uh um the guy from Bad Omens Noah I think co-wrote it uh, or had had writing credit on it I was like okay like I know he's not going to feature on it but I like Bad Omens so mm -hmm. I figure let's throw it on here and this song was very good it wasn't like Bad Omens esque or anything no but it was very good do be smacking do be smacking though that's that's the review. That's the review. Yeah. The main put out a single pretender, Woo! and thank fucking god we're getting super close to the album release. It's like I'm two so weeks excited. away now. I and love the main so much. I love you, the main. If you're listening to this, you're great. They have been putting out like these very like almost relaxed singles, like these very like not the typical main like shit. Poppy, kind of relaxed. Yeah, not like poppy is in the artist, but just pop. -esque. Yeah. Uh, and this song was like on the heavier side for them this is not what i was expecting at all because the other three singles were nothing like this at all no. um but it was very good it was very good good job main you're doing good the main I, let's go i have two thumbs where's the other one okay no it's that one that i was looking for okay i'm really tired was that a joke i couldn't find my other thumb <laughs> in the camera Shane, was that a joke no i couldn't find my ca my other thumb because my other thumb was Shane. under here but Shane. i'm flipped so I, I, I'm struggling. <laughs> I really, I really need to go to bed. I've been up for 12 hours now. <laughs> <That's> so... <laughs> so... <laughs> um, uh, the Jonas Brothers dropped a single. Remember this. What do this you, was not what do you good. got? What do you got against the Jonas Brothers, Corey? Huh? So their only good song is Year 3000 and What a Man Gotta Do. I said it there and cake okay. on the ocean but, but that isn't even jonas but, brothers that's mr joe jonas. Isn't a jonas brothers song either but it's their only good song no, i it's said what not. i said it is no it's it not is. i'm gonna start crying right here right now do it okay. cry okay. Uh, <laughs> he becomes a dumpy <laughs> let's go um God. this is one of the best post hiatus uh, Jonas Brothers song because that, that new bar album, is really low. That new album was not it in the slightest, yeah. uh, and uh, the singles were whatever. But this song was what very I good. Uh, I like I this, it's and a good, I think good. I think it's gonna be the title of their new album because this is also the tour name. Are they breaking up again? No, I mean who the fuck knows? They're gonna break well, up people, again. People people give a doesn't, shit about them this time. But doesn't Nick have to go on his own tour? Is he gonna blend them? I don't think he's going on his own tour. Why? He just dropped an album. Yeah, but I don't think he has a tour booked. That's stupid. Well, I mean, he's like massive. They'll just play songs off that record during Nick's segment of the show, or he'll like open the tour on top of the <laughs> other opener they have. Oh my like, god! I don't know. Um, wow, are you gonna see? Oh, you're not gonna see him this time. Probably not because tickets are very expensive. Yeah. Um, and like I might wind up getting like a lawn seat or nosebleeds. Uh, to one of the New Jersey shows, but they're not really nosebleeds because they're amphitheaters. Yeah. But it's not like I'm drooling and like had to buy tickets the second they dropped because I saw a ticket price. Like and Slipknot. Said, yeah, yeah, I saw a ticket price and said, you know what, I'll just see Slipknot instead. It's fine. Um, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, and the last single that we have to talk about, Vile dropped a new single, Violet. This shit fucking bangs. Bangs. They are so. They played good. this live for yes. Good Noise Fest, and it banged it yeah. translated very well live yes you can go watch mm -hmm. that set on our youtube channel this shit fucking banks i'm glad mm -hmm. that sam put me on to vile because mm -hmm. they are so good and i cannot wait they for are. the album at the end of the month or next month sorry oh, I, I was about get, to say yeah. uh yeah it is the last week of the month. yeah <laughs> july 30th nice. um uh, you guys are super swag come on the podcast email us please we, we, would can, love we to, can email you too if, that, if that's easier. That, if that's easier for you guys, we just want to talk to you. We just want to chat. Because you're, you're good. We just want to chat. Uh, that's all the topics we have today. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. It's good underscore noise underscore cast. Uh, we won't tweet 250 times in a weekend again, I promise. Um, unless, unless we do. Unless we have to. Uh, Instagram is good noise podcast. Facebook is good noise pod. YouTube is good noise podcast. Every single streaming service under the sun is good noise podcast uh got a band camp with the new comp good noise volume four good noise records at bandcamp.com we got a patreon as well uh patreon.com slash 
Good Noise Podcast. Tier started a dollar. <laughs> it's the only tier. Pay what you want, starting at one dollar. And we all get the same perks. It's great. Yep. Uh, Glory has your Patreon supporters and your important plugs. And I will sign off by finding both my thumbs. Oh, he found him. I found him. Uh, <clears throat> thank you to our Patreon supporters. My brother, my uncle, Matt from Pulses, Jeremy, Brady, Michael, Micah. Jesus Christ, my brain broke. Um, Zari and Eric. Thank you. You guys are all watch Eric's set because we had audio problems during the show. Yeah, and I still they're, feel bad. Go watch yeah, it. Yeah, their their set's really cool. So it's interesting to watch. I, I watched it for the first time and I was like, is this real? Um, so go watch it so you can have that that same experience. Um, somebody decided to start mowing their lawn at eight o'clock. Don't worry, we can't hear it, Glory. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um have have you been on Twitter? I've only been on Twitter for Good Noise Fest. No. I probably shouldn't get I, I always say this every week. I shouldn't get my news from Twitter. I don't um, go on I haven't been terminally online this past week or so. Yeah. Um, but basically stay safe if you can. Um free Palestine. That's what I'm gonna say. Because apparently I'm gonna I'm ugh, that that situation is just it's gross. Um but yeah. Uh, Black Lives Matter. Stop Asian hate. Be a nice person. Get the vaccine if you can. Um, because it's situations, people, health conditions. There's a lot of stuff. Um, if you can't, continue to wear your mask for your safety and for other people's safety. Um, yeah. Oh, get a succulent. I got a succulent. I got three. <laughs> but this is the one right here. <laughs> He's very cute. So, yeah. That it. was that was the plugs. Mm -hmm. uh, I have successfully found both my thumbs. Amazing. Um, and I'll try to keep them around mm -hmm. for next week. Mm -hmm. Until then, uh, I have been Shane. <sighs> Glory. And we have been the Good Noise Podcast. We'll see you next week. Bye. Ooh.